What is the true nature of reality? For these questions, humans have come up with stories to show what the nature of the universe is. In human history, there has been a lot of these stories, and some of them get thrown away, but some of them are still believed. The more we learn about this universe, our stories become more and more complicated. And some of them are so complicated that we can't understand it. Exactly like the string theory, a very famous story about the true nature of reality. But is string theory something real or something fake and made up? When us humans get curious about something in the world, we go look at it up close. And we saw tiny dust particles and we're like, wow, there's really small stuff around the universe. We went closer and discovered molecules. We really went close and we discovered atoms. When we found the atom, we kind of took a deep breath and we said to ourselves, we found the smallest thing in the universe and it's an atom. Our technology got better and we went and looked at inside the atom. And we found out inside the atoms, it's mostly empty space. It has a nucleus and on the outside, it has electrons rotating around it. If you want to get to know the atom a little better, watch this video. But scientists say, let's go inside the nucleus and see what's happening. But as you know, this nucleus is not like a cherry seed. It's extremely smaller than the atom itself. And scientists entered this nucleus. They notice there is smaller stuff than this. Inside the nucleus, they found quarks. This is where scientists pulled the e-brake. They still haven't managed to go forward and see what's inside the quarks. Before we move forward, let's learn something about lights. Light is a kind of radiation as well. Anything you want to see in the world, light has to reflect off of it and then hit your eyeballs. And that's when you actually see something. But if you want to look at something extremely, unbelievably small, light cannot shine on it and reflect to our eyeball. It's so small that the light beams just fly around it. And since it doesn't reflect back to our eyeball, it's kind of invisible to us. And that is why we can't tell what's inside a quark. And just like every unsolved mystery in the universe, we came up with a story. The story is called the point particle. Scientists believe that these particles don't have a dimension, basically zero D. These particles don't take any space in the universe. To solve this mystery, there's a huge problem, and that's gravity. When scientists get close to solving this mystery, they were forced to add gravity to the equation. When gravity was added, everything would get messed up. After they hit this barrier, some smart people came around and came up with another story. They ask, what's more complicated than this particle dot? What can we do? A line? A dot is not a line, but a dot can be turned into a string. And this was the place where string theory was born. This theory sees the strings as the strings on the violin. And however you play it or move it around, 
it does a different noise and also the vibration changes as well. The violin string causes noise and vibration, but the string in theory gives different type of particles. And gravity is one of these particles. When they came up with this theory, they've said, oh, we figured out the world and we know how everything works. But they were highly disappointed because it's not that easy. Our world is 3D and we all know that, but a world that the string theory works in is a 10D world. Scientists have tried and they are still trying to make this string theory work in a three-dimensional world, but they're still not successful. Unfortunately, the string theory has not solved any problem or tell us what the world is made out of or how it works and what's the smallest particle in the universe. Scientists believe in this theory, but there's also a lot of people that say this thing is ridiculous. But we have to know this, that two times two equals four. This is the answer and everybody knows that. And the math and string theory is the same thing. It works out. And in math terms, it gives the correct answer. And that is why scientists believe that there's still hope in this theory. Just think about it. You want to make a huge ship, but you have the blueprints of a boat. A boat and a ship have nothing in common. The size, the material it's made out of, and the engine. But they're both doing one thing. They're both floating on water. So if you want to create a ship with the blueprints of a boat, you have to work on that blueprint and work on every point of that blueprint until you get to your goal. This thing is exactly like the string theory. We don't know how to make a ship. We just have a blueprint of a boat and we have to work on it and figure it out. Even though we still haven't gotten the answer on the string theory, the scientists still believe in it. And they also say working on it is very worth it. If they figure it out, it can tell us how a black hole works. It's really interesting if we can figure out how a black hole works and what's inside it. Or if we figure out how this world works and how this ginormous thing is standing. This is the story about the string theory and we're still chasing the answer. We might get to a day that this theory is all wrong or it will be the exact opposite and we can figure the world out. As you guys know, we still haven't found the biggest things in our universe. In the string theory, scientists are looking for the smallest thing in the universe. Another cool thing about this theory is that if they receive the answer, we can even figure out how the Big Bang worked or what was going on before the Big Bang. Please comment on this because my mind is blown.